I have a question for you today. What do you actually believe? What we actually believe forms our thoughts and our thoughts form our behaviors and our actions. I want you to think of yourself as a tree. A tree has roots, it has a trunk, and it has a top. That's where we usually find fruit. And often we find fruit that is good. It's healthy, it's delicious, and it's good for eating. But sometimes we come across trees where the fruit is not good. It's rotten and it's unhealthy. When we have beliefs that are false or beliefs that are not healthy, we end up producing rotten fruit. Scripture uses a tree to describe describe us as well, as we see in Psalm 1 verse 3. He is like a tree planted by streams of water, which yields its fruit in season and whose leaf does not wither. Whatever he does prospers. I know that's the hope for each of us in our own lives, that whatever we do will prosper, that we will be like that man who is planted by a stream of water. But often, especially after long, hard seasons like the one that we've been in, we find ourselves producing fruit that is rotten. We see ourselves doing actions and behaviors that we don't know where they came from. The reality is that the roots of a tree are where our actual belief systems are. What do I believe about God? What do I really believe about myself? What do I really believe about others? And what do I really believe about the world that God created? Is God good? Is he holy? Is he big enough to handle the problems and the difficulties that I am facing? Does he really care? And is he actually involved in my day-to-day -day life? Or is he off in a distance just watching from afar? When we find ourselves with behaviors and actions that are not pleasing, sometimes we call those things sin. What we really need to do is take a step back and look down deep at our roots. What belief do I really have that is causing me to have this action or this behavior or to continue to struggle with this sin? There's another place in scripture that talks about the fruit that we bear. You don't get wormy apples off of a healthy tree, nor good apples off of a diseased tree. The health of the apple tells the health of the tree. You must begin with your own life giving lives. It is who you are, not what you say and do, that counts. Your true being brims over into true words and deeds. So ultimately, what we believe is going to inform our thoughts. In Proverbs, it says, as a man thinketh, so is he. What we think and what we believe has a huge impact on the way that we live our lives. And so I encourage you today to take some time, reflect, where are the places that I have beliefs that are not true, that are not honorable, that are not right? And can we say, Lord, I believe, would you help my unbelief? 